Actually, you know, well, let's go and just leave that guy. Right, so... I assume I should have come down here, and if you're talking about the left wall, it's this wall that I'm going to be hugging. God, man, I love the look of this game. You know what? It does remind me a little bit of Resident Evil, Cloud. You're all right. It kind of reminds me, at least this section, of a really dilapidated village from the original Resident Evil. Ooh, elixir. It's a good thing I've come back here. I think I might have missed a couple of things. Liquid medicine that makes still bodies undetectable. Dubious liquid medicine used in strange experiments conducted by high ministers of the healing church. A type of anesthetic that numbs the brain. Hunters, able to retain consciousness by force of will, make their use of a secondary effect of the medicine, which dilutes their presence while standing still. Probably an item I'll never use, but there you go. Nice. Another thing I've just noticed. The first time, or the first two times I came this way, all of these cages were locked. Now, I don't know what I've done to trigger these cages opening, because I don't remember them automatically opening when I came here. I wonder if it's when I, uh, when I got a rune off this guy, or if it could have been a boss fight or something that triggered it. Stakes are high and I'm hungry. See what you did there with the spell of stakes. It is indeed comic, yeah. Have I gone past the cave? I'm assuming if you've said I've gone past it, I might have to drop down into here. I honestly can't remember the way to this cave favourite. I really cannot remember the way to this cave. Um, the fuck is Comic Girl? Why am I getting randoms added me? What the fuck? Mr. Frivolous. It's next to the cages, but I'm not going to be dropping down. Is this it? Nice, this is it. Nice. I've got to say, when there's areas like this in this game, I just get lost. It's the same story with... Uh, is it the Dark Woods on Dark Souls? I mean, I've played Dark Souls that many times. I know pretty much where to go off by heart, but... It still catches me off guard every now and again. So I'm assuming these guys must have been prisoners, seeing as they've got shackles. The bells. Right, hold on a second. I think this might be the first time in the game where I've actually changed armor. Or, sorry, second time. take my time here. Let's just see the poison. Okay, that's a lot better. Hell of a lot slower. Hell of a lot slower. God, I 
love the look of this area. This looks like a section that could have been in Dark Souls with the Abyss. Hey, what's up, Sora? How you doing? And I just want to take my sweet time here. No rush. could do that. If you're in the attack process, you can actually press L1 to transform and hit an enemy. That's sick. I never ever knew you could do that. I assumed L1 would just, you know, extend it. Nice. That's going to bring me around there. I'm going to go up the ladder once I've cleared this place out. I think I've still got quite a few healing there. Uh, healing vials, so. whether or not to disturb that guy. Oh, you bastard. Oh my god, it's going to be ripped. Get up, get up, go. Okay, nice. Nice. <laughs> I've got a bunch of fucking sadists watching this stream. Do you guys get a kick out of me dying on this game? There we go. Nice, I know where I'm going. We've got it, my piggies. We've got it. Beer in a McDonald's cup. Jesus Christ, Ruth. Can you get any more white trash? I mean, you could pretend you're in, like, France or Belgium. Okay, nice. 
The other guy's still praying, so I assume my blood echoes might be around that corner. Christ in heaven, Diane. Such a shitty spot here. What's up, M9? This is a first playthrough. I I died here. This is the first time I've been in this area. Oh, sorry. I'm lying. This is the second time I've been in this area. First time I came here, I died. the damage. Good lord. I kind of want to leave that guy where he is because I have a feeling I'm not really going to get any special items from him but at the same time I do want to kill him. This is going to bring me back into the ladder area. Right, I'm going to play this safe because I've got 30,000 blood echoes. No rush. Lovely. Nice. Please, please sir, can I have some more? You've talked to Scorch lately and you kind of feel bad for him. Why? Why? What's happened to Scorch? I thought he, he got a job sorted. He was doing well for himself. Yeah, pretty much semi. They're almost, I think the worms, in my opinion, are almost as annoying as the dogs. But they've not gotten to the dog level of annoying yet. God, I can't believe this is fucking happening. These worms. <laughs> Honest to God, it's on another level. Well, no, technically this is the second time favourite. The first time, well, there wasn't a first time. I didn't even come down here. Come on. Come on. Come on, piggy. Go 
God, this is cheese, but it feels so nice. It's extra mature. Nice. Okay, so as far as I'm aware, I think this whole section is basically done. I'm just going to quickly run here to make sure I've not missed any shinies. Any of those succulent shinies. And then I think I'm going to be good to go up the, uh, up the ladder. Remember Ali? Well, he had some issues and she kind of used him a lot, so he dumped her and now he's dealing with some shit. Oh, shit. I don't know, fingers crossed he should be okay. If anything, I think being away from this stream probably helps him. Has Pat gone up the ladder yet? Has this playthrough gotten that bad, Nyman? I know I'm taking my sweet time, but still. <laughs> Christ, is this where they dumped all the corpses? Look at the state of this place. Jesus. out of control, honest to god. Out of control, man. So, if we've got a section underneath the whole of this area, uh, am I in Old Yarnum? I think I'm near the starting area, aren't I? Oh, fucking hell, what was that? And here's something feasting. See, I don't know. Whether this area is obviously, you know, like a, a gravestone, or gravestone, a graveyard, sorry. And I don't know whether these have, you know, fallen through the earth and they've created whatever it is underneath the floor in the area I've just been in. And this feels so weird at night. This feels so, so eerie. Oh, Yosefka's clinic! I wonder if she's still here? I've not been to this place in a long, long time. Uh, let's just see if we can have a word. Oh, well, hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then... If you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yosefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. 
this sickness, these beasts. They are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. Right, so I've got two possible locations I can send survivors to. Uh, I've got one in the church, and I've got one here back of the clinic. The thing is, as far as I'm aware, I haven't actually met any survivors yet. If you find anyone who's still human, send them straight to Yusefka's clinic. You can assure them there's no place safer. Please, do me this service. Well, I mean, no spoilerinos, guys, but wouldn't it make sense to send the survivors to Yusefka's clinic if she's trying to help them? She helped me right at the start of the game, and the guy at the cathedral looks like he has third degree burns on 90% of his body. Not only that, but he looks malnourished. If you find anyone, you can assure them, please. Do me. Okay, I can. I guess I can keep both in mind. Let's just have a look at this. Oh man, I still remember that as soon as I booted this game up, the walk down these stairs. The opening of that door and then seeing the chandelier and the sun just coming through. Fuck. God, even though it's been about a week since I've been in this place, or not even that, I don't think I've streamed this game for a week. The nostalgia. This is where it all started. And honest to God, I'm loving this game. It feels so different at night as well. Even though I've done this area already, and as far as I'm aware, the enemies haven't changed. Um, I think I asked that maybe yesterday or the day before where, you know, w when there's a full moon, do the enemies get more aggressive? Do you get more people turning into the, the Scourge or the Wolves? And as far as I'm aware, the enemies are exactly the same, but it just, it feels a little bit unnerving. And any time I see a light in the distance, like up there, for example, in that chapel, I kind of want to go up there, or I want to see if I can go up there and just explore. It's like a beacon drawing me in. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not really sure, Ruth. Um... I, I don't know, maybe Dark Souls 3 has survivors? I don't remember. Um, I don't remember the other Dark Souls game having escort quests, you know, to bring survivors to different areas. I don't know, maybe maybe Bloodborne, I might have to do, like, escort quests, I'm not really sure. Oh god. Why do these things take so much damage? Kind of remind me of the uh, the Bagmen a little bit. He has big boy pants because he's huge all over. <laughs> I told you, you need to have a look at my legs from all of this cycling, Ruth. God, they're so toned. It's just muscle. It's just sheer muscle. Now, for the rest of my body, I still unfortunately like beer a little bit too much.
Hold on a second. Have I? No, I haven't, have I? I don't know. This is starting to remind me of an area that I think I've already been at. I feel like I've already been on this rooftop, but... I need to remember the L2 attack on this game as well. Keep forgetting about using L2. So effective. This is going to be the invisible thing again, isn't it? I want to go in here, but I'm scared. Is this another clinic? With one of the little baby aliens on the table. I think I might have to know, mate. Yeah, I think I might have to. The um, the little hip torch, it's done me really, really well so far, but I think I'm going to need the torch for this section. It's just a little bit too dark. Nice, that's a little bit better. See, I don't know if I'm in a hospital or if I'm in a, like a university here. Could be, could be a medical hospital, I guess. Like I said before, every area in this game, the enemies just just intrigues me. Unable to acquire Yosefka's blood vial due to inventory or storage max. D Did I just kill Yosefka? What? Oh my god, I think I fucked up. Um Shit. Wait, it Hold on a second, this can't be the same door, can it? No way. Fuck! So... Yosefka was... Cause, oh, Cause I've only just stepped foot in the area with these alien things. So Yusefka was a... I don't know...